Lawmakers say the state could see mass evictions in a matter of weeks if the Judicial Council lets its moratorium expire. That's why state Democrats are pushing several bills aimed at avoiding what they call complete catastrophe. But their biggest challenge may be appealing to both renters and landlords who both have bills to pay. It's just absolutely stunning. Claudette Cooper manages dozens of downtown San Diego properties where tenants aren't paying rent and landlords are feeling the domino effect. They haven't been able to afford their own mortgage. They They're ready to evict anyone who can't prove COVID hardships. We have cases of fraud um, that you know, these people need to be evicted. But then there are those like Patricia Mendoza from Imperial Beach, laid off when COVID hit and unable to afford rent. I'm a single mother of two that's always worked hard to pay my rent on time and keep food on the table for my children. Under San Diego County's moratorium, she has until September 30th to avoid eviction for not paying and until December 30th to repay back rent. But in cities like Santee, tenants are subject to removal in less than two weeks. That's because the city council voted to relinquish control to the state and the emergency judicial order that halted evictions during the pandemic is set to expire on August 14th. It was a very bad decision. Councilman to, Stephen uh, Houlihan pushed for an extension of the ordinance to no avail. It is an additional safety net for anybody who's experiencing housing insecurity. But on the state level, lawmakers say they're working around the clock to come up with a plan. We have a looming crisis of a potentially a massive wave of evictions. Assemblyman David Chu is proposing a measure that would stop evictions until April of next year, as long as a tenant can show a loss of income related to the pandemic. His plan also gives six months of mortgage forbearance for owners of large apartment buildings and up to a year to pay for owners of single family homes or smaller buildings of four units or less. Less. On the Senate side, a separate bill would provide tax breaks to property owners. So we wanted to provide some balance. Landlords, meanwhile, are skeptical they'll ever recoup much rent. It's not about just wanting to evict people. Now, to be clear, the Judicial Council can still come to the table and extend its eviction moratorium. Lawmakers say they expect to hear their plans in the coming days.